What's up smart people on YouTube? You gotta be smart if you're watching this video. And this is just the average guy, although I'm anything but average. And on my videos, I like to break down the stocks that I have traded for the day. So, I did a little rocky, a little rocky today. Not, not too bad, not too bad. Let's look at the first trade, CEI. Um, I definitely cut, cut it, uh, shoof. I definitely cut my losses to the minimum. I didn't follow my rule of the third green candle. Got in at the second candle at 55 cents. It went up one cent and it came down. I had a stop set at 53.534. And I ended up selling at 0 .5, 0 .536. 0 .536. So I stopped before the pain even came and just got out. Before I hit the stop, seeing that it was going down. You know, I, I wrote on my little notepad before I even traded, like, Mondays are low volume. You should be looking for dips. And I didn't even follow that. So I see where my problems are at. Discipline. So let's look at my other trade. Um, Riot. I was looking at Bitcoin this morning, had a nice explosion. Let's look at GBTC is the ETF on the uh, OTC market that pretty much follows Bitcoin movement in the top three coins. So it got the nice jump that Bitcoin got going to 11,000 and it was hovering up here and then it just dropped. I guess Bitcoin was on a downtrend for the day. So not noticing that. I got into right here as it was starting to get some volume in the green side. Got in at 240 right here at this candle at 934. Had a good chance to sell at, th at 240, about 245. 244 would have been nothing, but it would have kept me in the green. End up selling at 233. Cut my loss to the minimum though. I didn't let that reach my stop loss either, realizing that I was breaking my rule of not waiting for the dips if i would have waited for the dips i would have got in on trnx made a, a one cent move here what's that three percent made a three percent move here that would have been nice could have got here on this dip went below the seven day rsi could have got in somewhere around 45 cents and could have sold at 46 cents so it would have been patient and waited on that I could have got in on that play, but I didn't. That's just a play I noticed. And instead, I did get a little bit of patience and got in on FSM. It wasn't nothing too much. But, you know, if you have the money to load up on some shares, say about 2,000, 1,500 shares, this would have been a nice play for you. Got in on the dip here at 11.07, 11.08. I got in at 4. Let me see. 419. So right here at 1108, or yep, 1108, 419. Bam, right in there in that little section. Set my stop loss at about 414. Got my alert set here. And I end up selling when it started coming down at 429. Should have sold at 430, but. Either way, I was waiting for it either break down or break up, and it started to break it down. Try to sell at 429, and bam, got it at 428, actually, 428. So a little move there, a little moves there, but um, I like how I've been following my stop losses a lot better now. When I was trading cash, my green days were good, but my red days were bigger, so that was my problem. So now I'm tightening it up on that. See how it goes when I start trading real cash. Uh, hopefully by the end of this month. And I think that's all the trades had for the day. Just look at the overall market. on um, looking at the ETF SPY. Big downtrend was at 300 just Friday. And now it's at 285. 285. Well, it was almost at 300 just Friday. Let's take a look back. Just last week it was at 300. But big loss for the, the Dow. 
and the spy because of trade wars. Gold definitely went up though. Hit a high of 38. That's why I made the trade on FSM. I saw that was following gold movement. And KGC was also. Not much movement. Those stocks don't move that much. So just little plays to be made there. But alright you guys. That's all I have. Subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this. And hit that like button if you like these videos. And I hope to see you in the next video.